And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you about niacin's deep support of the immune system and why niacin should always be a component in your arsenal of immune boosters. Original flushing niacin increases the body's count of a particular white blood cell known as a basophil. Basophils store natural histamine and also the glycosaminoglycan heparin, and they defend the body against parasites and other disease-causing microorganisms. Heparin also prevents the formation of blood clots. When blood begins to clump, these sludged blood cells are unable to reach the capillaries, which are our smallest blood vessels that undergrid so many of our vital organs. When these organs don't receive adequate red blood cells, this opens the door for anoxemia, or the insufficient oxygenation of the arteries. Niacin also repairs damage to the interior lining of the blood vessels, known as the intima. This, along with the niacin-induced angiogenesis, or creation of new blood vessels from older, damaged ones, can dramatically speed healing and recovery. Heparin, which again is increased by niacin, also supports accelerated wound repair. When taken in high doses, niacin significantly increases the number and effectiveness of neutrophils, which is another type of white blood cell that specifically targets bacterial and fungal infections. This action alone can facilitate the eradication of numerous diseases and pathogens. Niacin is a histone deacetylase inhibitor, or HDAC inhibitor, which reduces the formation of tumor cells by inducing apoptosis, otherwise known as cell death. The histamine niacin releases, which is certainly a component in the famous niacin flush, is our natural endogenous histamine, one component our immune system utilizes to defend against parasites, worms, and other infectious agents. And also, unlike antibiotic-based pharmaceuticals, niacin does not destroy the beneficial microflora in the gut. The one caution with all of this is that for niacin to work effectively for immune support, you need to take large doses of it, typically around 500 milligrams or more. And while niacin is very beneficial to the body, the flush you will experience from starting at such a high dose will be extremely painful. So it's best to begin your niacin journey low and slow. Try starting with 100 milligrams or less if you're sensitive and gradually increase that dose to build up a natural tolerance. When your body is accustomed to whatever niacin dose you're taking, you will no longer flush at that dose. This is when you can increase your dose, but again, do it slowly and gradually, ideally a few times each day. The easiest way to minimize the sensation of the flush, which typically looks like a systemic rash and feels somewhat like a severe itch, is to take your niacin with a full meal. Again, the form of niacin that works best at supporting the immune system is the original flushing niacin, also known as nicotinic acid, not the alkaline, flush-free form niacinamide. One of the best things about niacin is that this immeasurably beneficial and protective nutrient is also one of the cheapest, most affordable supplements around, so there's really no reason not to take it. So start slow and be careful. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.